Today on Rappler. Filipino victims of human trafficking are being forced by Chinese mafia to take part in crypto scams. United States Vice President Kamala Harris underscores respect for human rights in a talk with President Marcos. Harris' historic visit to Palawan sends a strong message amid Chinese bullying in the West Philippine Sea. Actor Chris Hemsworth decides to take an acting break after discovering risk of Alzheimer's. Concert detail tours for Harry Styles' Love on Tour Philippines show are out. Singers Joji and Kilani are set to headline the Plus 63 Festival in Cebu. And Filipina actress Liza Soberano fangirls over meeting Blackpink's Jenny and Lisa. A Chinese mafia is allegedly using Filipinos to lure lonely professionals into investing in dubious cryptocurrency apps. Senator Risa Ontiveros reveals 12 Filipinos were rescued from Myanmar by a network of non-governmental organizations. The Filipinos were said to be human trafficking victims recruited as call center agents or workers for Philippine offshore gaming operators, but upon arriving in Myanmar were forced to engage in a cryptocurrency scam. They were told to establish relationships with victims through Facebook, LinkedIn, and dating app Tinder, and after gaining trust, moved to WhatsApp and Telegram. The scam works by sharing a link of crypto platforms to victims and urging them to deposit cash. Once a substantial amount is deposited, they are no longer able to access the crypto wallet. Ontiveros adds she found evidence linking the scam to Farmily, a company involved in allegedly anomalous government contracts during the height of the pandemic. United States Vice President Kamala Harris spoke to President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. about the importance of respect for human rights. Malacanang has set to release details of the meeting, but the White House says Harris underscored the importance of respect for human rights, including freedom of expression and freedom of the press, and the importance of bolstering democratic principles. This comes as the United Nations Human Rights Council called on the Marcos administration to address the culture of impunity left by his predecessor Rodrigo Duterte. Human rights was also a point of discussion between Harris and former President Duterte's daughter, Vice President Sara Duterte. Meantime, a youth leader says she would have wanted to talk about sexual and reproductive health rights as well as empowering Filipino girls in a discussion with Harris at an event with women's rights advocates. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris makes a historic trip to Palawan as she caps off her three-day Philippine visit. In a speech aboard the Philippine Coast Guard's BRP Teresa Magbanwa, Harris vows the U.S. would stay committed to the Philippines, its oldest ally in Asia. Palawan is an island facing the West Philippine Sea. Harry's words and her presence in the island sends a clear warning to China as it continues acts of bullying in these volatile waters. So to all of you here today, I say, the United States-Philippines alliance is strong. We are committed to you. We are committed to your success and to all the lives and livelihoods that rely on your work. While in Palawan, Harris also visited the local fishing community of Tagburos, which contributes over half of Puerto Princesa's fish supply. Harris, who is the most senior U.S. official to visit the Marcos administration, was also the fourth American official to visit the country since June 30. Thor star Chris Hemsworth says he will be taking a break from acting after discovering his genetic predisposition to develop Alzheimer's disease. In the fifth episode of his Disney Plus series Limitless, Chris finds out he has an 8 to 10 times higher risk of getting Alzheimer's. Longevity specialist Dr. Peter Atia explains Chris inherited two copies of a gene linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's from both parents. Alzheimer's, the most common type of dementia, is uncurable. In the episode, Chris describes the situation as his greatest fear of potentially forgetting the life he spent with his wife and his kids. Because of this, the actor tells Vanity Fair he plans to take a break from acting to spend more time with his family. But Chris clarifies this is not him quote-unquote handing in a resignation letter. Ready for some late-night talking? Concert promoter Live Nation announces the ticket prices and seat plan for Harry Styles' Love on Tour concert in the Philippines. Tickets will be on sale via SM Tickets. The Live Nation pre-sale opens on Wednesday, November 23, 12 p.m., while the general on-sale opens on Thursday, November 24, 12 p.m. 
Harry's one-night show set for March 14, 2023 at the Philippine Arena in Bulacan is his first concert in the country since 2018. His hits include Sign of the Times, Watermelon Sugar, and Music for a Sushi Restaurant. Harry also starred in films Don't Worry Darling, Dunkirk, My Policeman, and Eternals. U.S. media also reports Harry recently split with Don't Worry Darling co-star Olivia Wilde after almost two years of dating. Joji and Kelani are heading to Cebu as they headline the Plus 63 Festival on February 18, 2023 at the SM Seaside Complex in Cebu. The two artists will be performing alongside Paul Pablo, The Sundown, Sunset, and DJ Short. Tickets to the festival are set to go on sale on November 26 at 11 a.m. on the festival's website. Plus 63 will be Joji's second time in the Philippines in a matter of months. Joji is also set to perform at the Head in the Clouds Festival on December 9 and 10 at the SM Festival Grounds in Paranaque. Meantime, Kelani's appearance at the festival is part of her Asia tour to promote her latest album, Blue Water Road. Liza Soberano is one lucky blink. The Filipina actress couldn't hide her joy as she shares that she met Jenny of South Korean girl group Blackpink. Liza writes, I'm the happiest girl, alongside a five-second video of them posing together after Blackpink's show in Los Angeles. Fellow celebrities express their shock and happiness over Liza and Jenny's interaction. Liza's label Careless Music Manila also uploads a photo of the actress with Blackpink member Lisa and singer Destiny Rogers. The Blackpink members are the latest K-pop idols Liza has interacted with this 2022. She was previously spotted hanging out with Jay Park, Icons DK, Ives Yunjin, Henry Lau, and band The Rose, among others. And that's today's wrap. I'm Julian Sirineo. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.